got the wisdom? Photobo's got the photograph wisdom. Who's got the wisdom? Photobo's got the photograph wisdom. Hey everyone, it's me, Photobo. Welcome to the Photobo channel. Okay, it's me, the Photobo. That's right, you've reached the Photobo. The episode of Ken Rockwell, right here on the Photo Bro. Please rate, subscribe, and I'd like to thank my new subscribers. I just got started on the YouTubes. A little bit about me. I am a long-time professional photographer, and I have shot many models over the years. I am a studio photographer, and I shoot mostly glamour and fashion. So, please bear that in mind with my comments. Everyone is different. Some of you will be shooting street photography. Some of you will be shooting sports. Others of you will be shooting inside nightclubs and uh, entertainment venues. Others of you will be doing stuff like me in the studio. Portraits and glamour and beauty and fashion. And others will be doing catwalk, which is different again. And others will be doing space photos. And others will be doing other sorts of photos. So please bear that in mind. Now, I don't mess around with the view with the reviews, okay? I firmly believe it don't matter what camera you have. Please watch my other video, The Awful Truth About Camera Reviews and Camera Reviewers. And please watch my other video, How to Choose a Camera, and my other videos. Please rate, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Tell your friends and tell your grandma about the photo bro. Okay. Today I'm talking about the EOS M. Why? Well, I'll tell you something, friends. I have played around with this camera, and I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed. One thing I'm impressed about it is this. Okay, okay, I know it's got a big sensor for a small camera. But that's not what I'm impressed by. Because I'll tell you something. I'm very impressed with this Pentax Q, which is just being released a couple years ago, as I can tell you now, friends, that the sensor technology of a small sensor is just going to get better and better and better. So if you get the cue and the lenses, I'm sure in a few years' time, Pentax uh, development permitting, you'll be able to buy a better body for it, okay? And it is the most compact system I have seen. But you know, EOS M is up against the Sony NEX, up against all the compacts, the super compacts as I like to call them, the XZs and the, and the new Fujis with the fixed lenses on them, and the new Sonys with the fixed lenses on them, you name it. But I got something about this camera which I like. The shutter release, fantastic. The concept, fantastic. The new mount that they have is probably the most impressive thing. Here's why. I believe that the EFM mount that I have seen with these EOS M cameras is probably the best build quality I have seen in any compact, interchangeable, or fixed compact form factor camera. I have never seen better quality in the build quality than this. Now, the Pentax Q lenses are minuscule in comparison, probably half the size, but they're very, very good. But these EOS M lenses, you can probably you can probably hammer a nail into the sidewalk with these things. Now, I'll tell you something. You can actually compare this EOS M with the EOS 650D. As I understand it, they have the same insides in the same sensor and whatnot. This camera is about the same size as the Lumix and the NEX. But I'll tell you something. Autofocus, there's some complaints about it. I thought it was fine. Frankly, I believe that you can't go wrong with this and you'll be able to buy adapters for it, no doubt. But honestly, the EOS M uh, lenses, the EFM lenses, some of the best I've ever seen. Okay, so you're thinking of buying this camera, the worry, buy it. You know my rule about buying a camera. Forget the specs. Pick it up. 
If you like viewfinders, buy a camera with a viewfinder. If you don't like viewfinders, then don't need it. Well, just worry about the screen at the back. At the end of the day, it's how it feels in your hand. There's only one thing you got to know. It's got a hot shoe. There's only one thing you got to know about that, and that's its flash sync. So please click the link. You got to go straight to the manufacturer's website and check out the flash sync. Why is that important? I explain in a forthcoming video. But you got to control the ambient light. That's why it's important. If you're shooting static models in a, in a studio, it ain't so important. But if you're out and about, it becomes quite important. Okay? You can't control all the light. So, if you're hesitating about buying it and you like the feel of this camera, buy it. It's worth it. Now remember, you can get a very good camera for a lot less money. If you go back a few years and buy an older camera, like an old Olympus Pan or something else that's similar, one of the first NEXs, you know, compacts, whatever. So maybe you want to wait a few years before you buy it. But honestly, I believe that this is a very solid system. I believe that Canon got a winner with this and they have got amazing build quality. There are my initial impressions of the o, of the EOS M and frankly I would use one, I wouldn't hesitate. As I say, don't spend more than a minute deciding what camera to buy, forget a little review, it ain't worth it. And friends, good luck, happy shooting, please put your questions below. I do not censor your comments. I do not block people from my channel. I've already been blocked by Mr. Nikon Noob. I've already been blocked by Kazillo because he didn't like my no-nonsense comments. I do not make money out of these websites. I want you to be happy and understand it's got nothing to do with the camera. So if you are hesitating, just buy a damn camera and start using it. Okay, bye for now. Look forward to your comments. Please rate, subscribe. That's all from the photo bro.